All right, you're watching New Car Spin. I'm your host, Brian Grant, and with me is Derek from There Will Be Cars. Hi, everyone. How you doing? All right, so today I am driving the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. Uh, some other kind of name, too, I think. No, no, that's, that's it, pretty much. Hey. So, this one is the... Uh, press vehicle that was supplied to me by FCA and it's the 2019 and you can tell it's different from the 2018 or 17 or whatever it is because that's the one right there <laughs> yeah they made those up till 2018 alongside the JLs okay so you can hardly see the difference but there is a difference between the brand new one and the older one but I, I'm pretty much convinced that I love this Jeep and I haven't had a Jeep since I was, like, 16, uh, when I was in high school. Actually, like, I have two brothers, so we all shared, like, a CJ7 in 1985. 85, 84. It was a four-cylinder, four-speed manual, Dana 44. It was pretty cool. Let's let this noise go by. Anyway, uh, I'm going to tell you all about this Jeep. It's... It's a four-cylinder. It is fifty-four thousand dollars. And before I got it, I thought, "Well, that's that's outrageous. It's completely outrageous." But but now I totally understand it. So let me explain this to you. Let me give this camera to Derek. So Derek, here you go. And follow me to to the back. You're going to. I'm going to show you something really cool. So why don't you go ahead and put the camera here? I'm going to go on the other side. Okay, so if you can't tell already, you'll notice that this has a hard top, but it also has an open roof. And the reason for that is because this has a new $4,000 optional, basically a convertible roof. And the roof works at up to 60 miles an hour. There's one button up there, it's one touch auto, and this canvas top just slides all the way back to this point. And it allows you to have like this open air convertible freedom. Now, in addition to that, though, you also have removable doors. So the doors come off traditional Jeep style, and obviously you can lower the windshield, although that wouldn't be road legal. But here in Texas, you're allowed to have at least one mirror on the car. So we have a center rear view mirror, but we don't have side mirrors when we take the doors off. But today, we're not going to do any of that. I've got the top open, and what I'm going to do is kind of give us some more freedom here. So I'm going to use this latch here and this latch here. <laughs> I'm going to remove the side panels. And we have a nice bag here that these panels can go in. I think these panels go in there. Or maybe that's the roof. I don't know. No, I, I, I think you're onto something there, yeah. Yeah. I don't have that kind of time. So yeah. Let's put them in there. I was so used to that sport that I tested, putting the Freedom panels in a bag, it didn't even occur to me to put these back there. But it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you know, a neighbor of mine has the same Jeep, uh, but the Rubicon, right? four-door, all that. Obviously, you don't want to scratch them, so put them inverted. But basically, she has the full top, and that has to be hoisted up in the garage. <laughs> this gives you the freedom of, hey, it's a nice day like today. I can just push the button, and the whole thing slides back. I don't have to hoist or any of that other stuff. Yeah, and then short of removing the doors, just lower the windows, take these out like you did, and yeah, it opens it up a lot. Yeah, so if you're in the city and you want that open air freedom, you still have the ability to do all of that. But here today at this ranch, you know, I didn't take the doors off. I, I wish I did, but you know, some people don't like riding without armrests or with all of that extra safety. So. Today we're going to do off-roading with the doors on and 
A little hint, by the way, is my neighbor told me that when, when she takes the doors off, it's just her. And so what she did was she bought a little drywall holder that they have at Home Depot and stuff. And she actually unpins the doors and then holds the door steady and uses that drywall hook to lift from the bottom of the door. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but she liked this whole concept of this top because no, no fiddling has to be done with the hoist and anything. And, and you can just take those side panels off and the doors off and, and you have a pretty cool thing. I'm not sure about this back window though on, on freeways, but you know, for what we're doing here today, it's like, I'm kind of lazy. Actually, I'm always lazy. I'm really lazy. <laughs> and this is perfect for me. This is like a button and two panels and leave the doors on. I don't care, put the windows down. It's good. <laughs> Uh, some features here, um, uh, the backup camera is on the back of the spare tire, so you actually get a view of what you're backing into. There's there's no additional like accessories at this point that that are sticking out further than where the camera is, so you're actually getting a real perspective of that. What else is there? This is called Sting Gray, not Sting Gray, but Sting Gray. That's the name of this color. I like it a lot. It reminds me of my Destroyer Gray Durango. Oh, um, well, since you're back there, yeah. you remember that hump in the door that was causing yeah. you a problem? Yeah, so, so this tailgate opens opposite of the curb, which is kind of weird. But uh, I only say that because the CJ7 that we had when I was a kid, it had little levers, and the thing came down like a like a truck bed so this is different for me but it's it's typical of all the recent wranglers um this hump here is the only thing i don't understand obviously you you need a way to latch the tailgate but when you're going to throw these doors in or a larger package you have to remember to keep them further forward because if you try and close this door this piece takes up some of that trunk space so obviously you're going to do some damage if you just slam that door. So just be sure of this. It's taking up a little bit of the cargo space. Okay, let's run out to the front. It's obviously trail rated. Very happy about that. We're going to try that out today. Uh, the new Jeep has better badging. Things are a little bit better packaged here. I don't really know what I'm talking about when I say that but I just like the way this thing looks and I like what's under the hood. There we go. So there's no hood release inside. Uh, this never works right on camera. <laughs> hood latches. Okay, so this hood feels really light. I thought it was plastic. It's actually aluminum. There are a lot of lightweight um, weight saving features on this vehicle. So as I drove it down the freeway and on the roads, it just felt really nimble. It felt amazing. And of course, the most amazing part is this four cylinder, two liter engine. It's gasoline, turbocharged, and electrified. This is actually a mild hybrid vehicle. It has a 48 volt uh, alternator starter system and it's similar to the e-torque in the new Ram truck so this has a great setup here with a nice turbo and then an electrified system that helps boost with with its own electric torque so off the line this thing is very smooth and very linear and then when you put your foot in it the turbo kicks in and you just have this great punch of power so this reminds me of the Jeep's what is it, like the 80s Jeep Cherokee? What was that one, the JK? Uh, 84 to 01 was the XJ. XJ. The Cherokee, okay, yeah. Okay, so uh, my neighbor had an XJ when I was a kid, but it was a two-door. And her Jeep was like a six-cylinder, and that thing was so punchy. It was very torquey and very high energy. That's what this is like. So when I first heard about a four-cylinder Jeep, I was like, oh, my God, right? <laughs> but in this case, no, it's awesome. Let's go inside and start it up.
got plenty of handles, man. I don't know what the problem is. Just, just get in, man. It's an overall lack of grace. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll hold that while you try and get your seatbelt on. I'll walk you through the interior here. We have radar cruise, which means we also have emergency auto braking. We have GPS. We have air conditioning. We have powered down front windows, but they're manual. Uh, you have to hold them to, not manual. Uh, what would you call it? Manual. That's, that's a lot of work to sit there and hold a button, wait for the window to go up. Um... It, this is just a great interior. There's a lot of detail, a lot of touch in here. You'll see the leather stitched dash. We have a great like uh, metal finish here with some extra just rugged looking trim pieces. Uh, the metallic finish in here is great. Auto headlights, of course. And these doors do come off, but you can see the hardware is very simple. We have an electrical connection we have to disconnect when you do take the doors off because we have power locks and power windows. Also something really cool before I really get in is you'll see when the door is open, you'll see these exposed spot welds or these tack spots, whatever you want to call them. I, don't, I call them spot welds, but it's a really rugged look. And even if you had the doors off and the top off, this is what you would be seeing. So some people might think that this is kind of like tacky, <laughs> pun intended, but I, I like it. I mean, this thing is just such a cool, rugged toy, and, and to me, it's like those are all the little details that make this thing uh, stand out. Also, you know, when the when the top's on and the windows are up and everything, it's all sealed, this looks like a poor man's G-Wagon, so <laughs> can't go wrong with that. So we got the top open, the windows down, uh, the only thing that's on and attached is that back glass, which can't be disconnected unless you take off the top. But here's the control for the top. It's just one touch open and one touch close. And yeah, I think we're gonna start this thing up. It's pretty quiet, very smooth. We have an animation in here. It says Sahara. We have our navigation loading. And down here, we have our controls. So with that glare in the way, there we go. So right now we're in four high auto and that's indicated right here for high auto so we're gonna see how far we can get in four high auto it did rain this morning it's slightly damp a little muddy but that's great because there's a lot less dust I've ever had this car before me did put a lot of dust in it and they tried to wipe it all down but they're just little looks and crannies that, that they might have missed but that's okay this by the way is how the top rail slides and if I hit this button you'll see how the top comes closed so basically, if you're if you're deciding to park it and you want it secured a little bit, or it might be raining, like you could just hit this button, and now your thing closes. I like how it closes too. That's it. It's done. And this canvas roof has like cross members, but it's not insulated, so it is kind of windy, but it doesn't flutter. But you you just hear some road noise. But that's the price you pay for any convertible. You're going to hear things. But in, in this kind of weather, like it gets really sunny, I can close the top, people will stop complaining about the sun, right? But <laughs> I was just about to start. Yeah, yeah, it's, just, it's <laughs> gonna happen. But we, we still have all this open air cabin aspect to it. It's not insulated, so I'm not sure about the winter. And on that note, this does not have heated seats and I'm not sure why. I mean, I looked for them, but I don't see anything here in the control panel. And if we go to controls, uh, we don't have anything here. So if I go to climate, we also don't have anything for the heated seats. So I'm not sure why, but uh, I'm not complaining about it. It's just, you know, to me, like at this price range, this might be your third or fourth car, or this might be the car you keep at your cabin. I don't know. But to me, this is, this is a cool, cool vehicle. I'd rather have it over an Audi Q5. Uh, Price-wise, it's the same price, 54000 right? But in this, we have 270 horsepower, and the power is always on tap. I'm never wanting more power in this vehicle, whereas in the Audi, I do want more power. So here in this Jeep, we do something the Audi can't do. We do a lot of things the Audi can't do in here. <laughs> and I don't know why you would get a Q5 at this point. I, I think this is an 8-speed automatic. Yeah, it's a ZF8. I actually have the window sticker in here. We have a huge... Uh, center console storage area, window sticker, 
we have a separate little bin here, and this is like a rubberized flake. I don't know what that is, what that term is for that amalgamate kind of thing. It kind of looks like uh, they're going for a ca- sort of camo look. Yeah. Yeah, and it's throughout the vehicle. It's in different areas. It's also right here. This storage bin, though, isn't that deep. It's half a finger deep. I don't know. I measure things in fingers, apparently. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> two, two fingers by one, one deep. So, anyway. <laughs> Demonetized. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for... Uh, what, 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 what can I do? All right, uh, satellite radio, trying to get us so the camera can focus here. Adaptive cruise, we talked about that. Full speed warning, cargo group, rail system. Oh yeah, there's the rails in the back. Eight speed auto, there we go. Third generation Dana solid rear axle, hill descent. So hill descent to this button right here, okay. And that is part of the uh, $2,000 option. Select track four wheel uh, four, full time four wheel drive system five ninety five. The anti spin diff rear axle, which this definitely has. I loved it. I put my foot down on some wet road and I got it to to step out a little bit. It, it was fun. I had it in two two wheel drive. Uh, the two liter engine is a one thousand dollar option as opposed to the six cylinder. And we have the remote key, which I definitely recommend. And then this roof is $39.95. So that's the coolest part. Um, none of this really matters except for that roof for most people. $54,540 and a five-year 60,000 mile warranty. Fuel economy, I've been averaging about 21 or 20.4 to be exact. And that's uh, driving from Dallas to Austin and then driving around in Austin. And it's been, it's been Pretty capable, especially with that little e-torque system. I like the way that e-torque system kicks in. So we're going to have... Oh, yeah, let's do this. We're going to have uh, apps, off-road pages. It's going to load the off-road app here. Over here, we're going to have our off-road telemetry. There we go. So we see our pitch and our roll. And then we can see the drivetrain. And over here, though, we can see all of our gauges. We can see the drivetrain. We can see pitch and roll. So Derek will be handling this and the camera. You'll be doing a lot of work today in the passenger seat. <laughs> uh, I'll be doing some of the driving. <laughs> okay. Um, no, yeah. we, we do have a toolkit, by the way. Toolkit's in here. So this helps us remove the doors. It's nice to have this. If I guess if you're ever looking at one of these 10 years from now, this this is the toolkit that should have come with your Jeep. <laughs> a little ratchet set. And obviously, this is nice to have. There is a spot in the trunk where you can store all the bolts and stuff. I'm sure you've seen that in other videos. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine. Leave a thumbs up here and then go watch those videos because <laughs> I really don't care about telling you where bolts go. Um, Glove box is tiny smaller than it looks yep and we do have like emergency assist buttons and everything and you've got a oh crap bar right here yep yep the oh ship handle <laughs> but there's there is one on the a pillar but there's nothing above you on the roof there are there's one back here so there are some for the back seat passengers as well and there are there are rear air vents uh, there you go rear air vents and if you fold down that center armrest, you also get rear cup holders and a little storage tray. So, oh, we also have speakers above our heads. So when the top is off, you still have a great stereo. And these are LED cabin lights, which are uh, basically like, they, they're like halo lights. So even with the doors off and the top off, you still have lighting in the vehicle. And that's cool to have. Some people are not a fan of all the roll bar systems, but... Uh, you gotta have, you gotta have that. There's no way around it. So, what I'm gonna do is give you that camera. We're gonna let it roll. Well, not not in the worst sense. No, yeah. Speaking of roll bars, <laughs> let's roll. Okay, I'm gonna put this in reverse. We're gonna back up. That was a pretty ugly truck right there. That's called the Chevy. Silverado Custom Trail Boss nonsense. (laughs) 
sure you'll be seeing more videos about that soon. Yes, in fact, you'll be seeing a video eventually on it on my channel, There Will Be Cars, because I'm here with you today to test that out here at Hidden Falls Adventure Park in Marble Falls. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really want to plug this place because I keep paying for access and I have additional costs when I do these kind of off-road reviews. And a lot of you really loved to disparage my Lexus LX570 video and my Power Wagon video. But I paid for the access here, and you didn't. Think about that. <laughs> I'm going to let that settle in with you. I did that for you. It's uh, true. It is very, very true. We're going to make a left here. We're going to the trip. I only had one cup of coffee this morning, so I'm in a bit of a bad mood. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, what I feel like doing is just tearing up the ground with this Jeep. I want to get this Jeep really dirty, but it hasn't rained in a long time. We just got a little bit of a shower this morning. Yeah, so it's probably just going to be little spots here and there, but... Yeah, we're going to try and find fun. I know there's a puddle, a very famous puddle, uh, but we'll see. We'll see if we can find something. Oh, there it is. We're already here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and focus on that, and I might even kick you out, Derek, and there's, oh my god, are you serious? There's no water. Oh well. Uh, nuts. Oh well, we'll just go straight through here. So, I, I normally it's like off-roading, slower is better and stuff, but we're in a Jeep and I'm used to driving a Jeep the way I used to as a kid, which is just, you just go. I'm not really afraid of anything in a Jeep. It's only the climbing stuff where I really want to go into four low and take my time. But this kind of trail thing, I, I think that's the ultimate test of a Jeep. And I actually kind of did something similar to this with a Ram Limited, which had the air suspension, and that thing was so smooth. Now, compared to the Ram, obviously, the Gladiator would make sense. That's the new Jeep truck. But here in the Wrangler, I mean, it's a Wrangler, right? So I'm going to expect some movement and a little bit of rattling. And we're kind of getting that from this top with everything down. But I'm having fun. I don't know about you, Derek, but I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up. Okay. Uh, let's see. I know we have some challenging terrain ahead. Oh, there's a nice rubble. Aha. Uh -huh. What else we got? Uh, we're going to have a trail coming up where we do a climb. Here we go. Some mud. I don't know how deep that is. Yeah, not very. Not that deep. My goal today is to try and get any mud inside the vehicle, preferably on Derek's side, not my side. <laughs> I don't know. Mud's not a smart bomb, so it might get on you, too. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised. I know how to sling it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've heard. Yes, yes. All right. I've been on this trail many, many times. I, I was asked if I wanted a map, and I said, nope. Just going to wing it. Yeah, and he's like, Roger, you're, you're good to go. Good thing we got that gimbal to keep things steady. <laughs> yeah, need all the all help right. I can get. So we got some ruts here, which obviously I don't want to, like, tweak anything in the suspension. This thing's nice and smooth. Ooh, it's, it's not a real trail over there, is it? Just to cut out. Today is an exceptional day for off-roading. It is the day before Labor Day, so happy Labor Day weekend, everybody. It is 80 degrees outside. It hasn't been 80 degrees here in like 100 days. It's this, like a cold front for us. Yeah, it's cold. So right now I, I feel like I should just park over there on top of the mountain and smoke a cigar and drink some whiskey and just like chill. Uh, this is like an ultimate day today. So. I couldn't hear you because I got my my earmuffs on. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is, it blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, like, I couldn't really do that in an Audi Q5, right? But in a Wrangler, I could just be like, I'm going to go up that mountain because I feel like it, right? Oh, here's some mud. Derek, why don't you get out <laughs> and stand right next to that mud puddle and we'll see if I can get you muddy. Oh, uh, sure. We'll see if I can get it stuck, actually. Okay, so hold on a second. You hear that? 
nothing. So I stopped the vehicle, we're in, we're in drive, and the engine shut off. And if I was to move forward, take my foot off the brake, it starts up immediately and rolls forward. So that's part of this e-torque hybrid system, and it's part of that fuel efficiency that we're getting out of here. So one thing that a lot of people had a question about, including me, was when you're off-roading, how does that e-torque system work when you're like rock climbing and hill climbing and stuff? So hopefully we can get stuck in this mud and we can see if the e-torque system... Obviously, we can disable it right here with this auto off off button, but we're going to see how well this e-torque system works if we're kind of like idiots or cityots, as I've just heard as a new term, like people in the city who go outside on weekends. So if we're if we're trying to be cityots today, uh, we'll be we foiled get, trying to get out of mud if we can hopefully get stuck um, by this by this e-torque system. Uh, we don't have like crazy off-road insane knobby tires. There's, there's only like the Mopar accessories on this vehicle. So Derek, if you can get out and show them the stock tires that came with this before I hit the mud, that'd be awesome. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Get out. You want me on that side or the other uh, side? Just anywhere safe. I'm fine. Just as long as you kind of get the money shot. Oh yeah. You know, like I know these Jeep, Jeep fanboys love the money shot. So, you know, I'm going to try and get mud in the vehicle. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not mine, so I can do whatever I want. I'll do my best to get they'll that, be, that money so, shot there. Yeah, they'll be so happy to hear that over a Jeep. <laughs> Mike Manley would love this. He's got a great name for this, too. Give y'all a look at the tires here. Now it's time to see how they hold up in the slick stuff. Yeah, I think the Jeep laughed at that too. Kind of crowded out here today, so might have to, might not be as quick through these uh, repeat passes as we'd like to be. All right, setting up again. And he's got company. Yeah. All right, let's find some more mud. Okay. Yeah. Still fun though. Oh yeah. I think I got more on my boots than this Wrangler got on it. <laughs> By the way, we do not have uh, rubber floor mats in here we just have the carpet so oh boy sorry not sorry <laughs> yeah when you're going when you were going through that first time you know you were laughing and i told uh your viewers yeah i think the wrangler was laughing at that too right <laughs> you need like a serious bog to take this through but i don't think they're gonna have one out here because of the weather yeah we're going to try. Uh, also, there is a creek bed we can go down. I think we're going to go down that creek bed. Um, we're in four high auto, so we don't we don't have like necessarily the, the four high center diff lock engaged. And, it, and if we do, it's a part time. I don't know what that exactly means for me, but we also have the four low. So I don't think we're going to need four low unless we're actually hill climbing or rock climbing. And, and you know, this park is pretty cool for that. There are a lot of side-by-side -side trails, too, that I can probably fit this thing up. By the way, the Sahara for 2019 is only available as a four-door, and this top is only available on the Sahara or the Rubicon. I read the press release, Kimberly. <laughs> um, there are new trims coming out. Like, Oh, well, I can actually talk about that now, right? We can talk about the 2020s? Yes. Okay. So you know about the 2020s. It's on your channel. Yes, yeah. So if you go to There Will Be Cars, yeah, I've got a whole video on the highlights of the FCA 2020 What's New event. 
So uh, some of the uh, more notable stuff on in that video are the uh, Ram Eco Ram Rebel Eco Diesel, the Ram fifteen hundred Night Edition, and then as far as Jeeps, you know, go for a cruise, uh, off road cruise in the Gladiator. But also uh, Jim Morrison, the head of Jeep in North America. Uh, shows me around the uh, 2020 Wrangler Black and Tan, uh, Freedom Edition, and the Willys. Yeah, and uh, go watch Derek's channel for that. He's got all that on his channel right now. So we, I won't talk about it because I wasn't there. <laughs> this is the creek bed, by the way, which I'm not hesitant to drive up. Uh, we could try that one, or we can go that direction. A lot of rocks, obviously. Still no mud, though. We're going to find the mud. Yeah, it's usually in these kind of the offshoots of these main trail yeah. roads. You find a little bit here and there. Yeah. It's not like that day we went through here in the power wagon and the LX. I mean, it was just yeah. drizzling all day. Yeah, and a lot of you took those videos for granted. I'm going to say, like, that wasn't easy. We were the only ones out here, and it was pouring rain. And you guys are like, that's not mud. Uh. Well, number one, the power wagon makes everything look easy. True. You know, it's it's not it's not that hard in a power wagon. And then the Lexus was just way too complicated. It's just like not my, it's not my thing. But I I tried to uh, I, I tell you about it as much as I can. This Jeep though, this is about having fun. And we know that it's capable. Everyone here has a Jeep. This is basically like the uh, best place in Texas at least in the Austin area, for your Jeep, uh, unless you have your own ranch. Uh, last time I checked, I don't have a ranch. Do you have a ranch? Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, no. No, okay. Yeah, I, no one inherited anything in my family, so we have nothing. <laughs> but it's great to be able to go to these off-road parks. Um, it's great that they uh, actually opened their property up to this. I don't know how deep this is. We're going to find out. I don't care if we get stuck. It's probably, yeah, it's, it's just like surface water. Yeah, it's just a thin sheet. Yeah, this place is just a natural habitat for Wranglers because 99% of the time you see another vehicle out on these trails. Well, there's a gladiator. Like, yeah, oh, there you go. One. Yeah. But that's just kind of what these things are, you know. We'll let him go. There's no reason why I should take double space. <laughs> Plus, we get to watch the guy go up the hill. Yeah, this is, that's the first gladiator I've seen out here. Yeah, let's watch that. By the way, here's our pitch and roll. Derek, you haven't been very good on this lately. <laughs> well, all right, we're all we're all on the green, sir. Yeah, there we go. So let's watch that. So the Gladiator is based on the Ram 1500 platform, right? And I like it a lot. You can take the doors off and the top off, just like this Jeep. But it's a freaking truck. Good. Yeah. Brand new, too. See, he's not afraid to take it off road. Oh, yeah. Gotta break it in. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the cool thing, too. Like, you can take that thing out on these trails, and rather than setting up like a. Um, uh, a camping chair and like a campfire and stuff. You can just pull, put the tailgate down and just chill in the in the bed. You can actually. There's probably a bunch of tents and stuff now for that thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you, you can kind of get that same versatility as this one. I don't know why I'm talking about that when I'm in this though. Maybe it's because I haven't had a gladiator to test yet. So <laughs> hint, hint. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so if you want me to test a gladiator, leave a thumbs up and a comment down below, and I'll be sure to share that with Fiat Chrysler and tell them that they uh, that they need to send some love my way, and I appreciate it. All right. Speaking of which, we got trails to hit. Oh, I finally went fast enough for the door locks. <laughs> Royal Gorge. I think we'll go to the Royal Gorge. It's kind of rough. There we go. Aha. Let's see what kind of pitch and wall we got. 
15. You want me to get out and go to the front so you catch you coming through? Uh, well, this is going to be splashy. It's not, it's not really mud, is it? Nah, we'll be fine. Yeah, you know what? If you want to get out right here, I'll let sure. you do that. Yeah, and I'll get to the front over there. And no, you can just sit right here, and I'll just turn around and come back. Oh, okay. I've it's... never been on that side. I think it drops off there as a cliff anyway, right? Uh, or a waterfall, mate. Well, that's the cliff. Okay, yeah, I'm not... I don't think I've really gone through this section before. No, this is where we did that photo shoot. Which one? The one where we had all the Jeeps lined up on the cliff? That's the cliff. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so, but... Yeah, then it had water going over the edge. That's why I didn't really recognize it right, right. now. Yeah, well, it makes sense though. It's been dry. Yeah. Ouch. Watch your step. Watch your head. Watch it. All right. Let's see. up here to hopefully give you all a better view. What is it? Why don't you hop in? I think we're going to go that way a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what the ground clearance and the aparture, uh, aparture? <laughs> approach and departure. So that's one word now. I'm not sure what those stats are. Um, data is only as good as you know what to do with it. And I think I don't need to know what these numbers are. It only matters when I get stuck. Yeah, as long as you don't exceed whatever they are, you're in good shape. Yeah, and I don't know what they are. So, and, and not, it's not like I'm going to look at a rock and go, oh, shoot, that's a 30 degree. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get in and go. That's the fun part. I like, I like the fact that you can have something where you don't have to care. That's, the, that's luxury. Yeah, you right. don't have to worry about potholes or, you know, curbs or really any of that kind of stuff in this. As we just sink into a two-foot drop. <laughs> <laughs> and they were never heard from again. This is where we're going, by the way, through this creek bed, which should be flat, you'd think. Unless, of course, people have destroyed it. Yeah, I think these are pretty Well, there's that one safe. little boulder in the center there, which I don't want to try and clear, but we'll, we'll go to the left of it. Oh, this is actually called Royal Gorge. We're actually on that trail right now. It's a cool sign. <laughs> feel like we're at camp. This, you know, this kind of would make like a cool... Whoa. <laughs> All right. Getting so, pretty. Getting a little gnarlier up there. I don't know if we're going to clear that. Let's go this way. You want me to get out? Oh no, actually, I could see where. It's not that deep. Not that deep. If you can open your door and the water's still below your door, you're fine. By the way, these are the uh, standard uh, Mopar accessory uh, running boards. I'm not a fan of them, but they do keep a lot of the mud away. It's just that it's a big step over to get in and out. And then, of course, we have this little uh, bolster here to kind of deal with. So uh, that's what we had to have, have ahead of us. It's kind of flat, but kind of rocky. Oh, oh yeah. Just going to make sure we don't have any sudden movement. Still, We're still on uh, auto mode. And then there's this lip here we got to contend with. 
I'm trying to get stuck and we can't. <laughs> it's not happening. Maybe we can go up that. Yeah, let's try that. Looks like somebody has. Maybe if you want to get out, um, maybe cross over the rocks and stand here mm. on this side and and take a shot of me going up that hill right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah let's try that. No problem, man. I'll let you walk over and I'll just hand this to you. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Don't want to. You don't have to buy another one. <laughs> uh, no, I don't need a third one. Uh, I gotta work on my sure coffee. DJI would like you to have a third one, though. DJI would would like to ignore me in customer support, so I have to buy another one. <laughs> good strategy. Yeah. Oh, well, just to ignore Mr. Grant. He buys another one. Hundred dollar nothing. I don't know. It's kind of the treatment that I got. I'm gonna put it in. Uh, I'm gonna put it in an X4 height um, partial diff lock. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the next lever down. How about that? Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Oh, I hear some beeping and booping in there. Okay. Four high part time. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Success right. and failure at the same time. It's all about, it's all about that angle and the butt. Ah. Woo! All right. Yeah, I'll come back and get you. <laughs> Go ahead and hop in the back. Oh, in the back? Yeah, that way you don't have to cross over the mud and then you can still get the shot as I go up. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Okay. I want to move your water bottle so I don't get it all oh, yeah. muddy. I'll take, I'll take it. Okay. Good idea. Kind of thirsty. Got my small water bottle today. Oh, you know, I should switch sides. That way I can get your over the shoulder. Sorry, floor mats. Hey, you know what? If they didn't want them to get muddy, they wouldn't have given them to me. <laughs> All right, we'll back up. Okay. It's warming up outside. I sure hear the is. cooling fans kicking in. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, we'll just get strapped in here. Take your time. <laughs> oh, I will. And am. Son of a... This is not working one-handed. Should I should I take a commercial break here, or <laughs> grab the a very camera? short one. I don't know why, you just, you just can't uh, see... Uh huh. All right, what you hear now are those cooling fans. We don't have the AC on. We're just uh, now. Of course, the fans turn off. So you want to be persistent when you're going up mud, and don't lose your momentum. Yeah. So I learned that actually not from the Jeep guys, but from Land Rover. Um, they had some interesting tips on expeditionary, 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 expedition style off-roading. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's go down this way again. We'll see the we'll see that cliff that we were talking about. Um, there are some tips, but you know I don't need them in the Jeep yet. We haven't really come across that. And I think it's because this thing feels so light, and it feels so controllable. Everything here is effortless and fun. So 54 for this trim and this, these options, like 
You could probably spec it out to like 48 and still have this cool top. Um, and maybe even with the V6, but I do like this four cylinder e torque hybrid system. This is, this is why I would choose it over the Audi. But that's just me. It's my personal choice. <laughs> you know, I've driven a lot of Audis. See all those videos on my channel. <clears throat> Alright, we're still in four high part-time. And we haven't bottomed out on anything yet. And I am quite sweaty. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's kind of tricky right there. Holy moly. So let me know if you want me to get out and spot you on anything. No, I think we're good here. This is not that technical. It's, it's, uh... Water bottles. <laughs> Sloshing hey, around. Mud. All right. Okay, now maybe you can get out here and I can do some mud slinging. Sure. Let's do that. All right. Taking off the belt much faster than the other way around. Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> like, subscribe, thumbs up, share with your friends. Go check out There Will Be Cars. Keep watching. I'm making these videos un uncut, unedited, whatever. But this is how we're rolling this year on New Car Spin. So trying to give you the full real experience like you're here with us. Thanks for coming along. You heard it there folks. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so I, I think the problem there is I left traction control on, so I'm going to turn that off. Right here. Yeah. Uh, traction control off, just one press, I don't have to hold it or anything. And then, um, I do have a manual mode, so I'm going to put that over in the manual mode. So now I'm in first gear, and we will see, I don't, I don't have paddles, but I do have the, the regular uh, shift controller down here. So. We'll see if I keep it a first gear and just put my foot down with chart control off if it's gonna kick up some mud. Because it, it didn't do much, did it? No. no. Okay. Let's try it now. I got trees to contend with, so I'm gonna be a little bit careful. Here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not wet enough either. Yeah. Hop in, we'll keep going. Back or front? Uh, hop in the front. Oh, yeah. By the way, that's what she said. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you threw up a couple of chunks of mud, but that was about it. Oh, yeah, not bad. Here, I'll hold that. You can get your... Oh yes. Seatbelt on today. Get into costume here. Yeah, we got all these trees in here in the shade. It's kind of a cool little spot. 
Oh, literally cool. Uh, great. Yeah, and that's the cliff thing. So we're going to head down the trail this way. This little technical road. <laughs> oh, man. I'm uh, not sure. Is this our first challenge? Yes, it is. Challenge accepted. You want to, uh, I can go to the bottom? Yeah, we'll do that, and you can spot. Okay. Yeah. So Derek will do some funny commentary, because I'm not going to be able to tell you how scary this might be. <laughs> but you, I mean, you'll see it as he walks down it, like what we're going to challenge this Jeep to today. So this might be really good. Hope so. Good. All right, you got a big hump here and rut it out on the right side. Always looks worse from the cockpit, but when you're actually on on your own two feet, it looks usually looks a lot easier. Let's see. Okay. All right. Now, yeah, hang. Yeah, driver, a little more driver. Slow, get in a groove on the passenger side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might feel a little bit of slide, but you're good. Just trying to find that groove. Little more driver. Keep coming. You're good, you're clearing. All right, yep, keep coming. Little more driver. There you go, keep coming. All right. Okay, yep, straighten out. There you go. <laughs> no sweat. <laughs> no, that was good. Yeah, no sweat from the driving, just the sitting there in the sun. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm pretty happy. That's four low drive, uh, traction off. And uh, let's hop, hop in, you, or should we just turn around and go right back up? Let's well, go. it looks like there's the well, there's a Gladiator. Well, that's a, it looks like a JK conversion. Get that on camera. It's, that was a cool shot. <laughs> Fuck, we always miss the good shots here on new cars, man. I got a little bit of them, but okay. I think he's coming this way. Well, I'm going to get out of the way. Okay. Yeah, you just got to watch out for this big rock right here. Yeah, yeah, just, okay, a little more, okay, sh you're, uh, okay, you're sliding a little bit. Okay, what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut straight that way then. Okay. Uh, All right, you got a convoy behind you. Yeah, I <laughs> Okay, there you go. Alright. Cool. A, I mean, we heard it grounding out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But I, I think it has steel skid plates. I mean, it is a Sahara. Yeah. So. Alright, let's see. Go ahead, come on in. Okay. Actually, you don't have that glide here. that 
Oh, well, it's a JK right now. Okay, well, let's get out on that gladiator. I'll kind of move out of the way. Okay. See, should be coming up pretty soon. There he is. I guess that was, I guess that was a truck I was looking at earlier. I thought it was a JK off in the distance, but I'm thinking that's the same one. So that's definitely the, that's definitely the gladiator. What's that? Okay. I should have taken a closer look at his, uh, door handles because from where I was standing it looked like a JK that had been converted into a truck but now that he's closer obviously it's an actual gladiator you know, gladiator yeah yeah he said that there's a way out way up there but I mean they got bigger tires and he looks like he increased the track on that truck too so we, we can't catch up because this isn't my Jeep but I mean we can get a little rough here yeah, because I think this was the pass I went through during the uh, during an event a few years ago, and people I was riding with they had like 35s, 37s, lifts. I mean, obviously not in this section, but I think if you keep going, it gets real gnarly where you need that kind of okay, stuff. Well, here's an exit. I'm gonna keep going. Wow. I mean, the clearance here is pretty cool. It's nice and deep over there. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. I think we'll go left here. Oh, yeah, they got it right, notched out. I mean, this should be easy. And don't know how deep it is, but... I mean, it didn't look deep when he went in it. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> should I open the door and find out? <laughs> Not bad. Ooh, stinky. It's like dog morning breath. <laughs> it's that new Chinese tea. <laughs> well, hopefully Ooh. the gimbal's level and you can see how much the Jeep is rocking back and forth. This might be hard to clear here. This little boulder there. I'm gonna stay left over here. There, you know, you should have enough room to hang hard left. Got the little tree here. <laughs> oh shit. Some slip. It is slippery. Yeah. Just gotta watch out. Okay, yeah, you're good. Okay. It's just a big chunk of stone there, but sometimes we get pushed around here as we slide around on the rocks, so oh, you, don't, yeah. you don't have a hundred percent control. All right, well, I think this is definitely getting more technical. <laughs> I prefer this over climbing hills, but I think what we'll do is turn around up there and then come back. I think I'll leave you here with the camera though. Okay. So you can kind of show everybody what the Jeep's going through to get there. Oh yeah. Uh, and then and then we'll climb up this and, and then you can just walk up and catch up to us. Sounds good, man. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you gotta, yep, there you go. He is literally rocking and rolling here.
if I remember correctly, you keep going down this trail and it gets really gnarly where a lift and big tires really come in handy. But so far so good with this. Got enough flex to get over that rock. Make sure I keep my own footing here and don't freaking fall down. He's gonna find a spot to turn around and then come back through. Eventually. <laughs> Just to give you an idea what's out here. Pretty random stuff. You gotta pick your line. Makes it interesting. You gotta give it a little thought in a vehicle like the one we're in. Just a little, that's that's it. It's, yeah, this is pretty, pretty mild compared to what it turns into. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You, I can get in front of you. Okay. All right. Looked easy. Because <laughs> there was no drama, but I had like the pitch and roll on there and it said 20 degrees, so. Oh yeah? All I saw was sky. <laughs> and victory. Yeah, that was so much fun. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of clearance. We only kind of grounded out in that one spot over there, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, that was it. No, other than that, no drama, no shrieks or groans. So do we keep going or do we say, let's end this here and then cut over to, to uh, there will be cars and check out the trail boss? It's up to you, man. I think we've proven enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. You're welcome. <laughs>